Wyoming Senator John Barrasso joins me now, chairman of the Senate Republican Conference. Senator, good to see you today. Great to be with you. Thanks, Harris. Look, you have a lot of experience winning, and I would imagine to get there, you haven't won everything. And so some of the strategy for winning comes from learning when you didn't. So what would be some advice that you would give some of those senatorial candidates right now that are facing tough headwinds like Martha McSally in Arizona, for instance? Well, I would talk about the contrast rather than the contest. Look, these are all close races. These are like, this is hand-to-hand -hand combat, like a knife fight in, in a phone booth, because there is so much Ooh. at stake so much at stake here. The Republicans are fighting to grow the economy. The Democrats want to fight to grow the government. That's the fundamental difference. But we have enthusiasm on our side, Harris. I see it all around the country. Look, the Senate is the firewall. The Democrats want the White House, the Senate, and the House. And we know what will happen if that occurs. Taxes will go up on just about every American. Our candidates need to talk about that. Uh, Fossil fuels and affordable energy will go away under the Green New Deal that the Democrats are pushing for. And the institutions of the United States will change dramatically as the Democrats talk about adding new states to the union with Democrat senators and expanding the size of the Supreme Court from 9 to 11 or 13. Look, these are risky. These are dangerous. These are extreme. That's why we are fighting so hard. You know, you are now sharing a split screen with the president of the United States, tossing hats out into a crowd that has been there for quite some time. It's a chilly day in Waterford Township, Michigan. And I'm curious, does it help? Does it distract? What does it do to have the president crisscrossing the country as the senators make their cases? And by the way, he was with Martha McSally uh, a couple of days ago, took some criticism for perhaps not being as generous with the stage with that particular Senate candidate? Oh, I think it helps quite a bit to have the president out there. He's in Michigan. John James, an incredible candidate. That's an opportunity for us to pick up a seat. We have another opportunity in Alabama mm -hmm. with Tommy Tuberville. We have Jason Lewis in Minnesota in a dead heat race. So when the president is there, that helps. I saw him the other night in Omaha where he was uh, helping uh, Joni Ernst from Iowa, and he's going back. This is important because the president and the Senate candidates are in many ways linked. But you know what you get if you get Joe Biden in the White House. He's willing to shut down the economy again. He's willing to eliminate millions of jobs related to fossil fuels and costs, make it double the cost to fill your tank uh, with gasoline. On item after item, Joe Biden is, is wrong. He's going to raise taxes, he said, by $4 trillion. So the more that the president can talk about the great American comeback, the great economic numbers that we had just yesterday, Harris, was 33.1% uh, growth. I mean, that those numbers are record-shattering. The president is one. He's the one that can rebuild this economy and lead the great American comeback. Joe Biden, not a chance. You know what's interesting, Senator, about what you're saying, and I, I nodded because we've had uh, John James on the program, and it is, you mentioned that as a possible pickup. So is there some work on Capitol Hill going on right now to look at those areas where you might lose and then look where you might pick up? Well, we're in the majority now. We want to stay in the majority because the important things we can do in a second President Trump uh, term, but we call it the firewall because we have to prevent the things that Democrats would want to do. I mean, you've heard these reports. Fox has been reporting today. Elizabeth Warren wants to be Secretary of the Treasury. Bernie Sanders wants to be Secretary of Labor. I mean, what is that going to do in terms of our efforts to right. uh, rebuild the economy, to, to have a growth of the economy as opposed Senator. to a growth of government? Fundamental differences. Please forgive me. I've got to step in for the president of the United States who's on the ground in Michigan. 